Hi there guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom crop with Werewolf's Farm Kit. We're going to navigate to Werewolf, Farm, Scenes, and open the demo scene for this exercise. The first thing we're going to need to find is base block on which we can build our crop. So to find that, we're going to go to Werewolf, Farm, Game Assets, Blocks, and Basic. And we're going to select the Plowed Dirt Basic Material. And we're going to bring it in to the scene just by dragging it in. Then we're going to go find the entry here. And we're going to rename it to Corn Tutorial. Now we're going to save this by going to Game Assets, Tutorial, and we're simply going to drag this back into here. As you can see, I've already done it, but you can just simply drag it back and load it into the uh, menu here. We're going to use corn today because corn has two different models that we use to demonstrate growth. And this is likely what you'll have to do if you import your own models that have some form of animation to indicate that they're growing. So we have a, an initial stage of growth and we have a final stage of growth that we want the corn to grow into. So, first things first. We're going to select corn tutorial in the scene hierarchy and we're going to right click and create an empty. Then we're going to grab these corn uh, models and we're going to drag them into corn tutorial. So stage one and stage two, as you can see. Now we're going to rename the game object to corn plant. Just for the sake of consistency. And then we're going to move these corn objects to be centered in the object. Uh, to be kind of where we want them to be on top of the block. So that may take me a couple of minutes. You can see here that I've edited the box colliders so they match the base of the model and the base of the model is just connected to the base brick that you're going to be using here. So the way you do that is you can click on edit collider and then you get little drag handles that you can easily just sort of move to fit the base of the object like so. And then you can deselect it and if you need to adjust the model you can move it around just using the handles as normal. If you need to check if you're accurate you can use this uh, adjuster. I'm sure you're probably aware of this already. Now we're going to add these pieces of corn to the brick as crops. So we need to select the corn plant object and we need to add a component to it. Um, and we're going to use a crop component which is one of the ones that comes with this package. Um, in the crop component it has this tiers drop down. We're going to set this to two because there's two objects that we want to add. And then we're going to set element 0 and element 1 to corn stage 1 and corn stage 2. So element 0, we're going to say corn stage 1. And element 1, we're going to set to corn stage 2. Now, we're also going to set the growth here. Now the growth indicates when each one uh, appears. So we want the second stage to appear at around growth 60. So I'm just going to set that to 60. I made a little error earlier in the recording and I dragged these two types of corn uh, into the overall corn tutorial drop. Um, so we actually need them to be nested inside the corn plant object. So we're just going to do that now. So. There we go, that's all fixed up. Now, we're going to copy this corn plant four times so we have more than one of them on the, uh, the base block here. So we just simply need to copy and paste and then drag the new version to a different part of the block. You can repeat that a few times 
And so we have corn all throughout our block here. So now I'm not going to worry about making them too perfect, that'll do. But if you want to make them uh, very symmetrical, you can use the various different tools to make sure everything lines up perfectly. Now we're going to remove the basic behavior for the, the plowed dirt prefab we used as the base block for this. So we're going to go to corn tutorial, the overall object, and we're going to go and remove this plowed dirt script. Uh, so we're just going to remove that component. And now we're going to start adding in all of the uh, behaviors and details for this particular crop. I've gone ahead and adjusted all these values in. So we have a name, sweet corn, a buy cost, which is the cost it takes us to buy this particular crop, and a sell price, which is the money we get from selling it and harvesting it. Uh, we have a grow size set to 100, which is the maximum size, a grow speed set to medium, uh, a starting point of 35 and a harvest point of 60. Oops, set that back. Um, so this will be the point where the crop is harvestable, which if you remember coincides with the point where it'll switch to the second stage on the uh, corn art. Uh, we have a start color and an end color, which we haven't changed at all, and a dry color set to brown, so if it dries out, it kind of starts looking a bit wilted. Uh, no color variation. We've set scaling to width and height, and we've set these three variables to true. So it's a plowable crop, so you can plow it with the plow tool. Uh, it's destroyed when you harvest it, and the growth is going to be animated. Now, we're good to go. So I'm just going to save over this original corn tutorial object. So I'm just going to drag this down here, and there we go. We have our corn ready to go. Right, so our last step is just to test this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our UI uh, drop down in the hierarchy and we're gonna take the existing plant corn um, option and we're going to go down to here and this is the option that allows us to actually place the crop. I'm gonna leave all of this um, to sort of be figured out, it's pretty evident. Um, all we gotta do here just to test this is to grab our corn tutorial we're going to go and replace the one in the existing menu, just so we can test it out, like so. And now if we go into a game, we should be able to test this. So we've just jumped into a game here. We're going to uh, just plow our crops and just plant some corn in under the sprinkler here and then fast forward just so we can see it working. You can see it's all grown up now. Uh, there's four stalks of corn like we placed. You can see it's kind of growing a little bit differently and in different sizes to the regular corn, just like we intended. And then we can sell it if we want. And that still works as well. Perfect. So that's all for today. Obviously you can see there's lots and lots of other options you can try out. And that's the goal of the farm kit, for you to play around, come up with all sorts of cool stuff. You can import other models from outside um, the ones provided. And you can fiddle with everything to your heart's content. Enjoy, guys. Bye.